What's up guys, I'm Matt the Woodshed Barber and today we are talking about the TPLB X Clipper. All right, guys, so let's get into this. Um, as you guys know, TPOB or the Pissed Off Barber, TPOB, whatever you want to call it, he has really hit the scene in the past few years, dropping dimes left and right. Good, solid tools, good clippers, choosing the right kinds of batteries, right kinds of motors, and he's just, he's doing a great job. And he uh, reached out and sent me the X Clipper after my review of the X Trimmer, which you guys know, that thing is, it's up there, man. It is a very, very good trimmer. So I was excited to get this. And full disclosure, you know, this is the first tool I've been sent for free to review. Um, I don't owe him anything. He's just asking for my honest review. And my guess is maybe he did this because he knows how, how badass this clipper is. Now, a lot of people get confused between what these are, the TPOBX and the X trimmer, and think that it's the same tool as the Vader. It is not. Not at all. Similar shape in a way, but not even close to the same thing. And the same thing goes for the trimmer. Not even close to the same thing. So guys, let's go ahead and talk about this. Pop the hood. Two JZ and no shit. So the power of the TPOBX. I go ahead and say, guys, this is, uh, whenever he made his video for it, it said, is this the FX killer? No, well, here's the FX boost. And I don't think it's the killer because I think this is too big of a thing to kill. Is it a competitor? Yes, it is a big competitor. For one thing, it feels more comfortable in the hand than this does. Now, this does have the rubber grip, and I appreciate that, but the way this one feels in the hand is just amazing. You got your little thumb hold there. But the power is what we're talking about right now. Both of them are powerful. 6,800 RPMs, 6,800 RPMs. Now, this is what blows my mind with this. Listen to how quiet it is. Now, the Boost has always been known for being a very powerful and quiet clipper. So, very nice sounding clipper. This. This is more quiet just as powerful more quiet two hours of runtime three and a half hours of runtime power wise guys this thing is a 10 out of 10 goes through everything smooth cutting good for finesse work good for power work bulk work it is just i mean it's a very 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 impressive clipper power wise 10 out of 10. So let's talk about the blade. It does come with the TPOB XO blade, which I do think is a very good rendition of what that Vapor blade is. However, there's a little bit more of a curve right here on the blade. It's hard to fully go into, but something about it does feel a little bit different. Um, uses a lot of different guards just fine. Um, one of the, the things I like to use with it is the double magnetic from Stylecraft. I like using those on it, uh, but it does come with its own guards. So though they, snap on there really good has the matching slime green um really really good blade cuts through everything also has you know the deep teeth i don't know if you can see that right there but it has the deep teeth it top-notch clipper guys top-notch blade i would say this blade it's so good it's not my favorite blade that is reserved for a different tool company but the blade is nine out of ten guys you're in dire need of an upgrade Systemic, top to bottom. So design on the TPOBX. Now, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I'm not a big fan of bright colors. The slime green is not my favorite thing. However, it still looks good and it still acts really good. Like if I was to have my own version of this, I'd probably go, if I was gonna go with a color, I'd go with my blue. I like that blue a lot, but it's a very bright, vibrant color. Color aside, solid steel construction. So it's, it's good, sturdy feel to it. 
It's got the grooves right there in the back, thumb hold right there. Very comfortable handle, very comfortable handle. It also has the solid loop if you want to hang it. Uh, does not come with a charging dock, which I know that TPLB is working on that. Um, he is listening to us with that, so kudos to him. The design on this click lever. At first, I was fearful because it looks a lot like the click lever on the Vader. Like I said, it's not the same tool, guys. This thing has five clicks, and it is super smooth. Super satisfying to work with. This, this kind of looking tool is very unique to me because it's exposing a lot more around here. I don't exactly know why it is, but it looks cool. It looks, it looks fine, it looks you know different. So design, I'm gonna go nine out of 10. I don't like everything about the design, but I have to give kudos for them trying to do something different. And also everything that they have done, they've done for good reasons. The visibility of the blade, the ergonomics of holding it, the construction, it's, it's a very good, very good tool. So I'm gonna say nine out of 10. Because the way that my bank account is set up, the thing is, I got a check in the savings, but all my money is in the savings. I don't think my card is going to go through. So the price, price of this thing. And once again, this is where he just knocks it. I mean, I'm sitting over here clicking it like, like I have ADHD or something. I do. Squirrel! It's a very, very well-priced tool, like all of TPOB stuff. It is $130. And I mean, think about this for a second. This one, you can get it cheaper now, but brand new, the Boost FX is a $220 tool. Now, is it $220 quality? Yes, but you're getting a tool that equates that quality for $130. That plus, if you got the X trimmer, which I think is one of the best trimmers on the market, just right under the Stockcraft Sabre, you take both of those together, and for the cost of one of these, you've got this and the trimmer. And guys, there's as that's the I'm going to say this: the X Clipper and the X Trimmer might be the best combo in barbering. The best combo in barbering. So do with that as you want, but price, I'm going to say a 10 out of 10. They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. Performance, how does it measure up? Well, like I said, guys, it, go, it cuts through everything. It cuts through everything perfectly fine. I didn't have a single problem with any hair type. Um, the way that the blade moves through, it's just, it, it's very hard to complain. So I would say performance wise, I'd say, yeah. 10 out of 10. So what's my final thoughts on this tool? Now, what, one thing you have to consider with a tool this different, not everybody's gonna like the way it feels. That's, that's fine. Not everybody's gonna like the way it looks. That's fine too. Not everything is for everybody. If you don't like the way this looks, I can guarantee you, you probably like the way this looks. But is the FX killer? Not in my opinion. Nothing's gonna kill the FX. However, is it a tight race between the two as far as quality goes, as far as cutting ability goes, as far as cutting, cutting experience goes? Yeah. I find myself reaching for this thing so often now. It is a great, great clipper. So my final thoughts on this is that, is it worth it? If you like the look, if you like the way it feels in your hand, this is a steal. It's $130. That is... I mean, that's magic clip money. And this is way better than a magic clip. So my final thoughts is if you're looking for a new clipper that's powerful, quiet, I can't, I can't emphasize this enough. I'm just gonna finish this while, while having this on. So it's gonna be in my hands. So if you're looking for a very good tool that's quiet, powerful, cuts through everything easily, I think you need to go with the T-Pob X. That's just, that's just my opinion. It's a very, very good tool. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Hit that like button, comment down below. Let's keep those conversations going. Keep it humble, keep it kind. And as always, I'll check you on the next one.
to Trump's turn to talk, and he was just like, Rand Paul is ugly? And the whole crowd was like, oh! We didn't know you could do that in this. You can just do that as your thing. <laughs> and Rand Paul was like, all right, everybody, settle down. We're trying to have a debate here. And the whole crowd was like, shut the fuck up, Rand Paul. Ugly bitch. 